Hello everyone, this is Amar. In this video, we will see how to create the drafting for this simple 3D model which you can see onto the screen. So let's start creating the drafting for this model. I already created the drawing file for this model. So let's go to the drawing. Now we will create the drafting for the model like this. We will place this view and projection view. So let's start creating the drafting drawing. So in this video, we will learn how to give the dimensions automatically as well as the dimensions manually. Also, how to give the dimensional tolerances, geometrical tolerances, as well as surface finish symbols. So let's start the drafting. So go to the general view to create the view. Select the front view display. Select no hidden, deem, apply, ok. So here automatically the surface finish symbol appears. I will just select it and erase it. Now simply select the scale, double click on it. I will increase it to 1. So it is 1 is to 1 scale now. Just move down and simply select this and create the projection view. Double click on to it, view display no hidden dim apply ok now we just show the section view over here into this view for that we'll go to the model now select the front plane just on the plane display select the front plane go to view manager and select new planar option and give in property the new section name that is to be B and simply say close. Now here we have created the section. Now let's go to the drawing to show that section into the view. So simply double click on to it, go to section, 2D cross section, select B, simply say apply now show with reference to which this section view is created so select this view apply ok so the arrow will display over here now we'll just shift it downward side just double click on to it to change the spacing value so i'll just minimize it 2.15 done that's ok now now let's start showing the axis in the views for that we will go to annotate tab show model annotation select here show model datum this annotation and just simply select the view now select the axis which you want to show i want to show this axis simply say apply cancel now again similarly go to model annotation select this view and select the axis which you want to show inside the drawing so after selecting axis simply say apply and cancel now we'll show the dimensions over here so we'll show automatically for that go to show model annotation and select the view over here and select these dimensions so it will show you all the possible dimensions that we have used in the sketches while creating this 3d model so all these dimensions we have used in the sketches of 3d model so which are appearing over here now select the dimensions which are required to show inside the model one by one so i am selecting all those dimensions which i want to show apply and cancel now we can just delete the dimension which we don't want to show just rearranging it okay like this This is also not required to show this dimension 32. 
so I'm just rearranging the dimensions so just show from starting where and ending where properly also this one starting from this edge and ending to this edge okay similarly for this for this also so your drawing representation must be good okay now okay so in this you can see that uh, the 20 dimension is not created so we'll show it manually simply select dimension select first edge control press button and select the second edge okay now it will show you the 20 dimension similarly i want to show this 30 dimension that is having the thread so it is m30 by 1 okay so simply select this go to dimension text right over here m so it appearing m30 into 1.5 mm is the pitch okay just move outside that's okay now here you can see 75 dimension which i have shown over here is shown in this view so simply i will select this dimension and here you can see one option is there that is move to view so i can move this dimension to this view so you, here you can see the dimension is moved again i want to show this circular pattern axis now how to show that circular pattern axis for that go to file prepare drawing properties change and here in option type the axis simply enter and just scroll down here you will see the radial pattern axis circle by default it is no value i will simply say yes to show it in a drawing add change apply and close now if i go to show model annotation and select show model datum you will see that this rectangular pattern axis is selected apply and cancel okay now i can show this whole dimension so only clicking first you will show you the radius if i double click onto the circle it will show you the diameter now i want to just show change the arrow direction so which you can do from here that is flip arrow okay and also you can show this diameter 50 so go to show more annotation select the dimension and select this diameter 50 which we want to show okay so i will just change the dimension text placement okay so we can change from here display option select iso and above extended it looks better now select this this diameter 60 6 diameter now see, this 6 diameter there are four holes so i will mention like this four holes of diameter 6 mm so simply type here four holes then comma of diameter 6 so these are four holes okay now let's start giving the dimensional tolerances before that you can see these dimensions are shown above the dimension line so i want to show this all dimension above the dimension line for that go to here filter tab and select annotation and select all the dimensions and go to this display and select from here parallel to and above it here you can see the text placement is changed now <clears throat> that's okay now 
let's go to the tolerances so select this dimension here you can see tolerance tab is not on so I will just on that tolerance tab okay so you can on that tolerance tab go to here prepare drawing properties change and after that you can select from here option in option type the tolerance display simply say enter it is no by default simply say yes add change apply and close so we'll simply close this now if once again I will click you can see the dimensions tolerance are highlighted this tab is highlighted so from here I can select the tolerances which I wanted so I want to show here plus minus tolerances so 40 is having 0 minus 0 0.12 tolerance so I can simply select this dimension and give upper limit 0 lower limit minus 0 0.12 over here okay now similarly you can show the remaining dimensions tolerances here 20 dimension is remaining that is having 0 0.12 upper tolerance so I can show it with plus minus that is 0.12 upper tolerance and lower tolerance is 0 that's okay so this also we have provided the tolerance that is a symmetrical tolerance that is 75 plus minus 0.5 mm. okay so in this way we can give the dimensional tolerances to any dimension now let's give the datum features that is datum A and datum B to this phase so for that select datum feature symbol select this datum say A and again go to datum feature symbol select this page Or you can select simply datum feature symbol this edge and it is with B tolerance okay so I placed all the datums that is A and B now we'll start giving the geometrical tolerances so this straightness with 0 0.02 how to give it now for that go to geometrical tolerances select this A and it will automatically place above it go to straightness so select from here straightness value is 0 0.02 that's ok just little bit move outside now also this parallelism 0 0.05 A for this face now we give that to geometrical tolerance that is to this face so it is what perpendicularity that is 0 0.05 0 0.05 with respect to datum A simply say datum A I can move it outside like this okay so in this way we can give the geometrical tolerances this to this perpendicularity point to a so simil similarly select geometrical tolerances perpendicularity point to a is there okay so in this way you can give the geometrical tolerances now the remaining thing over here is the surface finish symbol which I want to show this 6.3 over this face machining face and over this machining face 12.5 we can show so for that simply select here surface finish symbol go to machined standard open now it will open now 
so from here type select normal to entity select this edge this face and I want to show here 6.3 middle mouse button once click again I want to show onto this face so it will come normal to the face that is 6.3 roughness value that simply say ok now you can move it outside so in this way you can show the surface finish symbol in the drawing so I have sh shown you how to give the dimensions automatically as well as manually the tolerances that is dimensional as well as geometrical tolerances and also how to give the surface finish symbol hope you like this video thank you for watching